everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can send out your re-enrolment offers to your families. You're going to click on your service menu and under SP features, click on re-enrolment. You're then going to click to add a new re-enrolment offer. Select the date range, which will pick up all of the children's routine booking patterns within that date range for children that have active enrolments. You may wish to filter by children. So if you know a handful of children you wish to re-enroll at once, you can. And you also have the option to select via room. You can then click search and it will then display the list of children. You do have the ability to cherry pick children out of that list if you wish. In the re-enrollment offer section, you have a new date effective. So essentially, this is the new date of your re-enrollment. So for almost most services, that new date would probably be sometime in January, um, having that re-enrollment process for the end of the year. However, you can use the re-enrollment feature um, all throughout the year. So this is the start date of the child's new booking pattern that will occur when you import this re-enrolment offer. If you wish to change the existing room on that child's routine booking pattern, you can select the room from the drop-down box. But please note, if you do select it in this drop-down box, it will then reassign all of the children in the list this new room for their booking pattern. So we recommend only using this filter if you select via room. So if I was to come up here and select the babies and then in our updated room on the filter, I want to move them to the preschool room. So rather the offer being for the babies for these children, the offer will now be for preschool. This just saves time at the end on the import and rather than you having to manually change each room for those list of children. If you know that they're moving up to this room, you can do it here and then you can go and import them automatically. Once you've finished your search criteria, you can click offer re-enrollment. They will then sit in the offered list on the re-enrollment table. On the status, it will show that they're offered. It will also show the email address that has been used, which is their parent portal account. So re-enrolment cannot be used without parent portal. So if a guardian does not have a parent portal account, you will have a link there to send them an invite to the parent portal. And if the guardian does not have an email entered into Kidsoft or does not have email enabling, they will have the email messaging not available as their parent portal update. So this is identifying that the guardian did not receive the initial re-enrollment email, um, so they don't actually know they've received anything. So to fix that, you just simply need to go and update the guardian's record with an email address, and then you can send them an invite to the parent portal. For further questions on our re-enrolment feature, please do not hesitate to reach out to the Kidsoft customer success team. You may also like to look at our additional video tutorials in our YouTube channel for more tips on Kidsoft. Thank you.